Welcome to the first video in the cutout animation video series, Getting the Character. So a lot of what I'm going to explain in this tutorial has already been explained to you. It's a bit of a review, but I thought it would be good to go over, not only because these are the actual steps you would take when doing cutout animation, but also because most people learn through repetition. So I've deleted the Karate Master from my scene. It usually sits at the top of the timeline layer stack. So to import a character from the library into my scene, I would go to the library view. And if you remember, we kept our Karate Rabbit in the Animate Pro library. And so we have multiple templates that we could import. The template that I'm actually looking for is the full three quarter template. So you could either drag it in and drop it into the camera view or into the left side of the timelines layer stack. So either like that. Or like that. So it works the same and it and you have the master underneath and just one frame that contains this drawing with just these facial features and poses. But let's say you'd like to import this pose, but maybe like with a different head or a different facial expression to start. Well, what you can do is actually then import the master. Let's do it through the network because this character was actually created through the network and when you import a character that was created through the network either into the timeline or the camera view often you risk losing some of the connections that you've made so let's bring up the network and take our character the master actually and drop it into the network okay, I'm just going to expand this a bit so we can see the network so when we drop it in, it's not connected to our composite, so we need to do that. So I'm going to bring it to the front of the stack, which is indicated by this green node right here. So anything on the left side is the front, and I'm going to connect it in front of everything else. Then what I have to do next is choose my first pose, like I said. So I would like to choose this one right here. So if I recollapse my master peg, what I can do is I can delete everything from before that keyframe to the start of the timeline by holding shift down and then pressing the delete key. So if you notice, if we uncollapse the master, all of those drawings and their subsequent keyframes have disappeared. We also want to get rid of everything on this side of the Karate Rabbit. We just want this first this first drawing for the three-quarter profile. So let's recollapse the master, select the frame after um, frame 9, so we're selecting frame 10, and then you can arbitrarily shift and click anywhere past the point that we know uh, the last drawing ends, and also click delete again. If we uncollapse the master, we can now see we only have this single row on frame 9 for all the parts of the Karate Rabbit. The next thing I'd like to do is then drag all of these uh, frames and keyframes to frame 1. So if we recollapse the Karate Master one more time, select this keyframe and drag it to frame 1, and then uncollapse the master layer, you can see that everything has been moved to the first frame. And the last thing we want to do is extend the exposure because right now if you move past frame 1 to frame 2 you'll notice that the Karate Rabbit disappears. So the last thing we'd like to do is actually extend this exposure. So I'm going to click on frame 60 and right click and then select the menu item extend exposure or you can use the keyboard shortcut F5. So that's it for the tutorial getting the character. Stay tuned for the next tutorial basics.